Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to view information about MSI files and then also extract the files within there if needed uh, using a free program called Less MSI. So normally MSI files, Microsoft installer files, are used to install uh, software in Windows and you might find a time when you want to extract the contents of the file, let's say it's like it's a driver, like an HP printer MSI file and you want to get like the driver files out of there, that type of thing, or you just want to see how old it is or who makes it and so on. So once you download the program, it's just a zip file, nothing to install. When you go to the site, which I'll put in the description here, you just want to download this zip file here, application binaries, and extract it. And then you'll have the less MSI GUI, so you can just double click it to run it. Right there, so now you can either drag a file in there or, or open it from the file menu here. So let's drag in this checkpoint VPN file. So you can see here's the contents of the file all the specific files within that file. And you can do a table view, summary, which tells you what it is, subject, the author, the installer, uh, revision number, create time, that type of thing. And streams, there's no streams for this file. And it tells you the path there. And so you could just extract it just like this if you want. Tell it where you want to go. Okay, so we have it like that. And another way, let's delete this one here. You could use this Add Windows Explorer shortcut. Let's run this as administrator, just to make sure it works correctly here. And now when you right click on a file, you have this uh, Extract Files and also Explore. So if we click on Explore, it'll take us to that same window. If we click on Extract Files, it'll extract the files into a folder with the same name, like so. Now let's try one more here. Let's check out this one here for Image Resizer. So this only has a few files in here. So it's the author, the created time. So this is an old file you could see. I just pulled some ones that I had sitting around. And we could extract it. And there's the three files we saw in there. All right, so it's pretty simple to use. So like I said, just uh, run the GUI. And if you want to add the shortcut to your uh, file explorer, you could do that. And also what you could do, if you go to Edit and Preferences, you could do it from here too. You could add the shortcut item to explore and then also remove it if you want to do it right from the uh, viewer itself. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description. You could download it and check it out and start extracting your MSI files. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.